Hello, it is time for Wednesday's Word for Wednesday, February the 10th, 2016. Just a brief thing I wanted to tell you tonight. I pray about this to see is there anything in particular that God wants me to share. Just a brief word, not a sermon or anything. And I was going to do something kind of cool about Valentine's Day coming up and how God is the lover of your soul. But I keep hearing this in the spirit. That I want to tell somebody, hang on. Those are the two words that kept coming to me. Tell, just to tell somebody to hang on. Hold on. Keep on keeping on. This too shall pass. Ooh, I just felt the Holy Ghost when I said that. This too shall pass. Whatever you're going through. I don't know whether it's a sickness. I don't know if it's a financial difficulty. A marital issue. Some other sort of relationship issue. Or just simply that it's February, it's almost mid-February, and you're ready for spring, and you don't deal with cold weather, and the, the lack of sunlight has caused some that seasonal affective disorder, and maybe you just feel blah and gray, and you don't know why. I do want to encourage you, hold on. This too shall pass. Almost every winter, for some reason, I decide to go and read this Laura Ingalls Wilder book, The Long Winter. You know, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie. She wrote uh, nine books in the series for children. And The Long Winter is, for most people, it's a very depressing book because it simply tells of how they had to live through seven months of intense blizzards on the South Dakota prairie in a little town that had just formed and the trains couldn't get through. So they spent months with no supplies in town. They were to the point of eating just, for every meal, they were down to one piece of coarse, you know, rough brown bread. They had to grind the wheat themselves just every day to bake that little piece of bread. That's all they had in the end. So I go and read this book about this time every year, it seems. And I suppose maybe subconsciously I do it to encourage myself because they made it through. And they relied on God to make it through. I always go back to Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All things. You can do, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That was, that was how they got through this. And uh, there were two parts of the book. I finished it last night. There were two parts of the book that really struck me at the end. You know, they had gotten very, very skinny. Um just hollowed out under their eyes because there was no food for so long and blizzards kept them continually shut inside they didn't even have kerosene there for several months at the end uh, they had to sit in the dark a lot of the times I can't imagine that day after day especially with no food and the intense cold and with the tiny bit of heat they ran out of coal they had hardly no heat and so as I was reading this last night this is near the end of the book. It says, Only the blizzard and the coffee mills grinding, the cold and the dusk darkening tonight again were real. Laura and Pa were holding their stiff, swollen red hands over the stove. Ma was cutting the coarse brown bread for supper. The blizzard was loud and furious. It can't beat us, Pa said. Can't it, Pa? Laura asked stupidly. No, said Pa. It's got to quit sometime, and we don't. It can't lick us. We won't give up. Then Laura felt a warmth inside her. It was very small, but it was strong. It was steady, like a tiny light in the dark, and it burned very low, but no winds could make it flicker because it would not give up. And just within a day or so is when finally the blizzards ended. But she got that flicker inside her that said, we will not give up. The last page of the book says this. They were singing a song that Pa had learned. Here's the part of the, here, this is the chorus. Then what is the use of repining? For where there's a will, there's a way. And tomorrow the sun may be shining, although it is cloudy today. 
and as they sang, the fear and the suffering of the long winter seemed to rise like a dark cloud and float away on the music. Spring had come. The sun was shining warm, the winds were soft, and the green grass growing. That encouraged me last night. Hope it encourages you, along with the Bible verse. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. There's an old song called Mother Sherman's Story. An old gospel song where uh, this man tells how he had this little old lady in his church. And every time he'd see Mother Sherman, she'd say, I'm you yet holding on? He'd say, yes, Mother Sherman, I'm yet holding on. She'd say, then you keep on keeping on. That inspired me through some dark days of my life. I would hear that Mother Sherman story, and I'd say that to myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I want to encourage you and say, you yet holding on? Yes, you are. Now you keep on keeping on through Christ who strengthens you. That's Wednesday's word. May you be blessed and encouraged tonight.